nestled among the hills in central Myanmar, lived the tribal people of the Kayan. They live in a land of contrast, darkness, and superstition. But amid the deep darkness, a new light is breaking over this golden land of 10,000 pagodas. ASAP Ministries has sent a dedicated missionary to this stronghold of the enemy where no Adventist missionary has ever gone before. This is the story of how God's work is moving forward among the long-necked people of Myanmar. Christianity has made inroads here in the Kaya state, but there is still much work to be done. Only certain portions of the Bible have been translated into the local language. 70% of the people continue to practice animism, Buddhism, or some combination of the two. There are still many tribes that remain completely unreached. But that is about to change. Through an extraordinary chain of events, a young woman from this tribe has recently been baptized. She is one of the first three Seventh-day Adventists among 147,000 of the Kayan people living in Myanmar. After completing her education as a teacher, she has returned home to share her newfound faith with her family. And this is her story, the story of God's providence and His master plan to reach the Kayan people of central Myanmar. I grew up in a Buddhist home and my parents belonged to the primitive religion of the Long Neck tribe. When I was a little girl, I wanted to wear the golden rings around my neck just like my beautiful mother. But as I grew older, I decided that I wanted to go to the government school in the big city. One day, a man came to the village asking if there was anyone that would like to study at a private school. Although I had wanted to study at the government school, I realized that this was my chance for education. As we drove to the school, I wondered what it would be like. When we arrived, I was very impressed with how friendly everyone was and how kind they were to me. The atmosphere was very different here. I made many friends and even though it was a Christian school, I determined to myself that I would always be Buddhist. When I finished that year, I went back home and my parents learned that it was a Christian school. My family was very, very angry. They warned me that the Christian people would persuade me to become a Christian. They discouraged me from going back. All my friends decided to go to the government school. I also nearly went to the government school, but there was something that drew me back. I decided to return to the Christian school. Even though I was a Buddhist, I proceeded with my education. When I came back to the school, I was only pursuing education. I did not want to become a Christian, but by the time I was in grade 12, I felt that there was someone working on my heart. There was someone urging me to make a decision. I realized that it would have been okay if I did not become a Christian when I had never heard of Jesus. But now that I know about Him, have heard of the truth, and have studied about all of the salvation provided by Him, I had to give my heart to Him. If I fail to accept Him, it would be on me. It would be my failure and my sin not to accept Jesus as my Savior. So when I was about to complete grade 12, I was baptized. I was convinced that Jesus was the true Savior. Since I am the one and only Adventist in my family, I feel that it is my responsibility to work for God so that my family will accept Jesus Christ as their Savior too. Among my people, the Kaya Long-Necked people, I am one of the very few Adventists. It is my responsibility to share the truth that I have found with them. As I completed college, I had a strong desire to work for the Lord. 
One day, the district leader approached me and asked if I would be a missionary in the village where my relatives lived. My only desire was to work for God. And by serving Him in my own villages, it would be so much easier for me to work since I am familiar with them. In the village that I am in now, I am working as a teacher for the young kindergarten children in the village. There are 48 students and I have been able to teach them not only the school lessons, but also Bible stories and Christian songs. There has been great progress in the lives of these young people, and the parents are very happy with the success and progress of their children. So I'm welcomed in the village by the community. Every time I visit the families, I share the importance of education, as well as knowing the truth that is found in the Bible. I have a special time for devotions with the families. At times, it is very difficult to work with the non-believers as they are very suspicious of the Christian faith. But at the same time, there are also many other villages who approached me and asked if there was a way for their children to come and join my school and grow up to become a teacher in their villages like me. Through her dedicated work and sacrifice in reaching out to this little village, the witch doctor has come to know the true God and is now pointing the villagers to the way of salvation. Thank you for helping the gospel to spread to the people of my tribe. It has been a great blessing to help them learn of God. My one desire for those of you that are watching this is that you will sponsor more missionaries so that the gospel can spread to those who have never heard of Jesus. Nyenye was reached through education, and now she has returned to her people to reach out to them through education. She is now inspiring them to become teachers themselves. These young people will go back to their own homes and villages, spreading the gospel across the land. Your generous support through ASAP Ministries is providing a way that these precious people can come to hear about Jesus. Would you join me in praying for Nghe Nghe as she witnesses to the Long Neck tribe in Kaya State? Pray that the power of the Holy Spirit will attend her work and the work of her fellow missionaries to produce a great harvest among the Kayan people and the other unreached tribes of Myanmar. Thank you for partnering with ASAP Ministries to proclaim the everlasting gospel to the people of Myanmar. My name is Pastor Sang, and thank you for watching ASAP Ministries Mission Matters. <laughs>